Any time an extremely prominent person in the sphere of politics or law dies in unclear circumstances, the question needs to be asked. Was it foul play? The circumstances behind the death of Supreme Court Justice Antonin Scalia remain unclear. Does that mean he was murdered as part of a devious conspiracy by the Democrats to tip the balance in the Supreme Court before Obama leaves office? No. Scalia was a 79-year-old man with admitted health problems, and the likeliest explanation is that he died of natural causes. But it doesn't take a wild conspiracy theorist to understand why people have questions. Why did law enforcement personnel tell Presidio County Judge Cinderella Guevara that there was no evidence of foul play when Scalia was found alone in his room with a pillow over his head? Was the immediate clampdown on any suggestion of foul play an attempt to prevent an autopsy from taking place? Why did Guevara initially tell the media that Scalia had died of a heart attack before hastily changing her mind and saying he died of natural causes? Why did Guevara pronounce that Scalia had died of natural causes without having actually seen the body? Why is no autopsy taking place despite Guevara's confusion as to how Scalia died? A decision disputed by other officials. Why was it necessary for no less than 20 police officers to escort Scalia's dead body to the Sunset Funeral Home in El Paso? Why was Scalia's body quickly embalmed, a process that would destroy toxicology evidence? Why did Scalia reportedly refuse to be provided with security detail, despite the fact that other Supreme Court justices had received death threats? Are reports true that Barack Obama was told about Scalia's death hours before a public announcement was made? If so, who told him? Was it John Poindexter, the Texas businessman and Democratic Party donor, who owned Cibolo Creek Ranch and was reportedly one of the first to learn of Scalia's death. And why does any of this matter? Well, if Obama is able to get his choice of Supreme Court justice confirmed to replace Scalia, America could be radically transformed. Scalia was a strict constitutionalist who consistently voted to protect free speech, freedom of religion, and the individual right to bear arms. All of those liberties and more are now under threat if Obama is able to appoint a leftist activist judge before he leaves the White House. Given this monumental motive and the unclear circumstances surrounding Scalia's death, the emergence of conspiracy theories is hardly a surprise.